Hello college algebra students. Here is another problem from your exam to review. The diagonal of a TV set is 39 inches long. Its length is 21 inches more than the height. Find the dimensions, that is, the length and the width, or in this case, the height and the length. Find the dimensions of the TV set. Okay. So, how's this for a TV set? Of course, the other half is up here. It must be a wide screen. All right, here's the height. The length is 21 inches more than the height. And we're told that the diagonal, the hypotenuse, is 39 inches. Now. This is a relatively right triangle, so we're going to use the quadratic formula. Not, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, h squared plus parentheses, h plus 21 squared equals 39 squared. That will be h squared plus h plus 21 times h plus 21, parentheses, there you go, equals 39 squared. And I'm going to find out what that is right now. 39 squared, enter, is 1521. Okay. So h squared plus, I'm going to FOIL these two linear binomials, I'll get h squared plus 42h plus 21 times 21 is 441, and that's going to equal 1521. So I will have 2h squared plus 42h plus 441 and I'm going to subtract 1521 from both sides of the equation because of the zero principle. That's just how you solve almost all quadratic equations, unless you're going to complete the square. OK, let's see what 441 minus 1521 is. 441 minus 1521, enter. It's going to be minus 1080. So I'll have 2h squared plus 42h minus 1080 equals 0. Now when you can, the best thing to do is divide through by a common factor for, for an equation, a quadratic equation, or any equation for that matter, when you're lucky enough to have a number that is a um, uh, uh, greatest common factor. And that's going to be 2. So I'll divide by 2. I'll divide by 2. I'll divide by 2. I'll divide by 2. Do it to every number on both sides. And that will give me h squared plus 21h minus 540 equals 0. Now. I can use the quadratic formula from here on out, but I suspect strongly, because I've done a lot of these problems, these problems tend to be factorable. So let's try. Can't hurt. I'm going to say negative 540 divided by x and come down to y2 where I will have x plus negative 540 divided by, uh, 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 almost lost my 0 there, divided by x. And then I don't care what it looks like, so I'm going to say second graph to get the table. There we are. I'm going to be looking for the b number. Remember, a is 1, b is 21, and c is negative 540, so my b number is 21, and that's what I'm looking for in the y2 column, and there it is. The numbers beside it will be the factors I'm looking for. 
So this polynomial, quadratic polynomial, factors into h minus, well, h plus 36 times h minus 15 equals 0. So I'll set each factor equal to 0. h plus 36 equals 0. And h minus 15 equals 0. Move this up a little. Here on the left, h will equal negative 36, which makes negative 36. What is negative 36 inches? That would be saying that the uh, the height, well, well, it would be saying that that the television is turned upside down and sticking in a hole or maybe in a box. Okay? It's not. In this context, a negative dimension is not going to make any sense at all. So I'll cross through it. And over here, I'll solve h equals 15 inches. So my height is 15 inches. I assume we're talking about inches. My height is 15 inches. And my length will be 15 plus 21 inches. So my length will be 36 inches, positive 36 inches. And it's the length, not the height. So here are the dimensions of the television. OK, talk to you later.